There's been a recent uproar in the GI community over a research article evaluating the effectiveness of colonoscopy. Let's discuss that article from my perspective as a GI doctor. The New England Journal of Medicine recently published original research by the Northern European Initiative on Colorectal Cancer. When CNN got their hands on this article, they made a gross misrepresentation of the data and made the bold statement that the effectiveness of a colonoscopy has been overestimated. The original research was published by the New England Journal early October, and we'll link it below. Its conclusion was that those who participated with a colonoscopy had an appreciably lower risk of colon cancer than those who did not. And if this doesn't sound like earth-shattering news, you're right, because this is the same message that your GI team has been promoting for better than a decade now. Getting a colonoscopy helps us find colon cancer early so that we prevent its worst complications. But here's where the study gets easy to misinterpret and therefore has become controversial. They saw that in this study that there was a lower incidence of colorectal cancer than in many prior studies, and there was also a lower incidence of death. And that may have nothing to do with the colonoscopy, but more to do with the declining incidence of the disease within those countries and improved treatment regimens that have been accomplished in recent decades. The fact is, we are making progress in treating cancer, but it remains true that getting a colonoscopy helps you to prevent getting cancer in the first place. They estimated that people had an 18% reduction in the incidence of colon cancer within the study group, but it's important to understand what they were actually studying. And that wasn't the effectiveness of a colonoscopy, but rather a new policy in these countries to offer a one-time screening colonoscopy to the participants. As it is, many people declined that opportunity. In fact, there was only about 42% of people who had a screening colonoscopy. We know that in the United States, Rates of participation in colonoscopy screening isn't a whole lot better, maybe about 40 to 50%. But we do know that those people who actually have a colonoscopy achieve a much greater benefit. And the researchers knew that too, and so they made an adjustment to their numbers to try to calculate what was the benefit to those people who actually got a colonoscopy. And that's where their numbers actually match the traditional numbers that we think of. They saw a number closer to 50% risk reduction for those people who actually had the colonoscopy. So ask yourself, if you get a colonoscopy, are you 42% participating or are you all in? You're 100% getting a colonoscopy. And so what is important to you as an individual is that 50% reduction in risk. We very well understand that if you get a letter in the mail inviting someone to look up your backside, you probably are not going to participate. That's going to seem kind of odd. So I think we know why more than half of people in this European study threw their letter inviting them to have a colonoscopy in the trash. And we know that this is a problem in the United States as well. There's low participation rates in colorectal cancer screening. Kaiser Permanente in California embarked on a very original research project which increased the rate of participation towards 80%. In that study, over the intervening years, they achieved a 50% reduction in the incidence of colorectal cancer which corroborates with the adjustments that these authors made showing that the benefit of a colonoscopy reduces risk by 50%. I think the big picture here is that an effective program can greatly reduce the risk of colorectal cancer. Another reason that this study is not as applicable to us in the United States is that it was only offering a one-time screening colonoscopy. There was no follow-up like we would do in the United States. If I find a person who has numerous polyps, then I'm going to follow them very closely in three or five years because I know that even though I remove the polyps today, over time they're going to grow new ones. These polyps are like weeds and we know that you need to tend to your garden by routinely going back and removing polyps to really ward off colon cancer. While the media's coverage of this original research caused a lot of uproar, the fact is if you get into the meat of the article, you actually find that we're all on the same page. We see a consistent improvement in the decline of colorectal cancer when people participate in colon cancer screening through a colonoscopy. I hope that this video helps clear up some of the muddled information that has resulted from recent media coverage of this research. Thank you and be safe.